Hello students, as you can see in this video, we will be starting with class 9 biology. So the first chapter what we will be dealing with is the fundamental unit of life. So the moment we hear this, the fundamental unit of life, what pops up to our mind is, it is nothing but the cell. So in this video and in the subsequent videos, we are going to discuss about the cell and its components. That is what the cell is made up of, right? So let us begin. How this cell was discovered? So that is what we need to know first before we can understand further, right? So it was in the year 1665, when the cell was discovered for the first time by the scientist Robert Hooke. So what did Mr. Hooke do? He basically took a cork. Now, what this cork is? So I have a sample of cork for you. You can see this. So basically this is a cap of a glass bottle. Actually this cork comes from the bark of the tree. Okay. And it is relatively soft in nature as compared to the other wood which we use for making the furniture. If I just apply little force, I can just press it. So it is relatively soft and it is used for making the, uh, you know, stopper like this for the glass bottles. And other than this, it is also used for making the cores of the cricket ball. Okay. So that is where you can find the cork, uh, you know, very easily. So basically what did he do? He took a cork like this and then using a blade, he made thin sections of that cork. Okay. And of those thin sections, he picked up one and he placed it or he focused it under his microscope. Okay. Now his microscope looked entirely different from the microscope what we use today so if you observe if you can see this this is how the hooks microscope looked like so this is the specimen holder where he placed one of the slices of the cork and this is the eyepiece from where he observed it now when he observed that slice of cork then he observed a structure which was very much similar to that of the honeycomb structure. So, this is what he observed. He observed a pattern similar to that of honeycomb. Now, what is this honeycomb structure? So, if you have seen beehive, so they have many hexagonal ring like things, right? So, that pattern is actually called as the honeycomb structure, okay? So, he observed honeycomb structure and he further coined the term cell for each of the compartment what he had seen. So, suppose if this, these all are compartments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, for each of the compartment like structure what he observed, he used the term cell or he coined the term cell. Now, why did he use the term cell? Basically, the word cell is derived from the Latin word cella, which means a little room. So, to Mr. Hook, each of the compartment appeared like a little room. Okay, so he used the term or he coined the term cell for the first time. So, that's all for this video. See you all in the next video. Thank you. Do like, subscribe and share this video.